busy schedule dealing with fights like Triple G versus Canelo to make time out of his schedule to come all the way to, to Cicero, Illinois, Cicero Stadium to be present, to watch these guys go at it is amazing. It, it truly is amazing. It, it, it's very Putting touching. Putting in the work and bringing the hardware Oh, here. yeah, for, for sure. He doesn't he doesn't just talk about it. He is about it, you know. He, he's, he's coming out and he's making it. He's making his presence known that he cares about amateur boxing. Yeah, Up, great, great Upcoming guy. stars, upcoming stars. We got Rolando Vargas in That's the red next. corner and Marcellus, Marcellus Campbell. Campbell. Yes, sir. So let's see, Campbell is a uh, lefty. Yep. These guys all look to me like they have at least 50 or 60 amateur oh, fights. Oh, for sure. I know Vargas, Vargas, Rolando Vargas has, I believe, in the 150s, 150 amateur fights. He's they're very, they're very talented boxer. Yeah, they're just so sharp. The average person goes, oh, that's boxing. But, you know, that takes oh, five or six or seven years, years to, to perfect get at that level. Not even to perfect because you'll never perfect it. it it's it, it's you're, you're always learning something. You're always constantly training, working, working on something. Yeah, that's what I like about boxing. It uh, progresses in evolution. You know, oh, when you think you sure. know a little bit, then you're gonna learn something new. Yeah, you end up screwing up something else, and you've got to correct that. So, so many yes. entities go into it. You know, oh, art, for sure. conditioning, athleticism, desire, for sure. motivation. These guys are about evenly matched. It looks like in height. Definitely in height. But I think skill-wise, I would have to lean a little bit more towards Vargas, Rolando Vargas. Yeah, Vargas in the red gloves and in the red uniform against uh, Marcellus Campbell. It looks like he's got the uh, Sam Colonna. Uh, uniform on, yeah. Yeah. And Sam puts out some amazing boxers. He, he puts out some really tough guys. If you're fighting one of Sam's guys, you know you're, you're in for a scrap. Oh, looks like somebody dropped a mouth guard. Looks like uh, Marcellus. Marcellus? Yeah. Vargas listening to his corner. I like that. He looked over there, and I don't know if that's Pop or whoever. Yeah, that's actually his father um, is his trainer. That's a smart move. A lot yes. of fighters forget look that. You to know, look at your corner. All the experience is in the corner. Yeah, Sam's guys are scrappers, but, you know, uh, Sometimes you can uh, put the hammer down and box a little bit. I'd like to see Vargas slide over and cut the ring off a little bit. Ooh. Oh, that's, or, what, I that's what happens <laughs> when you slide over. You know, you're able to get that straight right hand down the pipe. Now, he got a little bit dazed. Yeah. He Some of the other eight counts that I've seen. Oh, oh my goodness. I would not have I would that. not have stopped that fight. No, well, definitely not. We're all but, fighters. You know, they, they rule is, in the era of safety. Exactly. But for like sure. I tell people, it's not badminton or volleyball <laughs> you know, we're out here trying to hit yes, each other this is the hurt sport definitely yeah. the hurt sport if you want to be soft you gotta judge and, and or you know, a different maybe, sport maybe i didn't see um marcellus campbell's eyes well maybe his eyes were swimming in his head you know i i won't i won't judge that call too hard if it was if it was uh stop by the ref and you're right it is better to err on the side of side of caution you don't want to see anybody get just hurt. walked by and said hi to you, Lalo. He sure did. <laughs> we have to bring him over to the gym and see if we can give him some work. Oh, yeah. I'd love Eddie for him to Anthony visit. Give him some work. I'm I'd love for that. Anytime. As always, all boxers are welcome at Oakley Fight Club. So, Lalo, what's the full name of this tournament? The WBC? Green and Gold Tournament. What WBC a great tournament. Cares. We, we got Sanctioned a couple by more days, USA right? Boxing. Yep. We got uh, semifinals are tomorrow, and the finals are Saturday. Don't miss out on the action. These are some amazing fights. This 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 might have been a, a, a small open tournament, but everyone here is, is giving it their all, giving it their all their heart, and all every fight has been exciting. Something you do not want to miss. So what day is Mauricio Suleiman taking us all out to eat? <laughs> uh,
All right, you know, we want to ch talk about Julio Cesar Chavez, but here is a guy who's just as convincing, Orlando Vargas, who won, uh, who stopped his fight in uh, what round? It was in, I believe, the first round. Well, that doesn't take long. Uh, you felt you controlled the fight the whole, uh, the whole uh, time. Uh, were you surprised? Yeah, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, there's never a small opponent, you know, you always got to come with heart and with everything you got, you know, been training for a long time, so, but in this fight, I felt like I was a stronger opponent, so I was thinking about just finishing, finishing it. Yeah. And you did. Well, as a first round knockout, but that reminds me of my first Golden Glove fight 67 years ago, when I knocked the guy down three times in one round in the first fight to win the fight, but lost the next fight, so this is just a stopping point for you to get going. Now, uh, how many fights have you had? This is gonna be my 155th fight. 155 fights. And what is your record? I have about, I'd say around 20 to 25 loss. So 125 and, uh, tw uh, and wins and 25 losses. Well, this fellow you beat tonight has nothing to regret because he lost to a champion. Good luck to you and we'll see you uh, later on in your next fight. Appreciate it. Okay.